Hello boys and girls, it is Metal Bomb here. And I am going to show you guys a Puri test, premium test stone. Uh, this is actually a uh, testing uh, kit for gold. <laughs> And uh, you got the platinum test and the silver test. I'm not sure why there's no 24 karat gold test, but I guess it would. I, I assume it's because uh, if it's 22, then. Well, I'm not really sure. Why? Does anybody know why there's no 24? Because if it ain't 22, then it's 24, that dummy. But, anyways. So the way you do this is basically you scratch um, a little piece. So I wouldn't do this on anything, you know, really nice, like, um, you know, a, a gold coin like this, this here, a little 10, 10 ounce, uh, one tenth ounce uh, maple. Um, but I would do it on something like, well, I'm actually pretty sure. So here's a stone, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure that what I have here is a fake um, Omega gold watch um I'm not a gold no phone uh, I, I basically got this from my mom who said she doesn't want it and she saw that i was collecting gold and she gave it to me i think she thought it was pretty sure this is not uh, real gold and the reason why uh is first it's not very heavy and if it was gold i, I would i think you'd feel the density but um this is kind of a giveaway right here is that uh it's coming off right there there's like some sort of gold plating it says on it 14K right there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not very dense. And like you can even feel the density on this little tiny maple, 110 ounce for its size. Whew. Gold is really awesome. It's precious for a reason. It's special for a reason. I um, love it has gold. been for a couple millennia. Here's the stone here. Uh, it's hard to uh, video, and I, I give mad props to anybody who does this because they video while they're doing things like some of these guys like uh, Silver Dragon. And it's just, it's hard to uh, do this while you, um, it's hard to do something while you talk and you're videotaping, making sure you're in the video. Um, so props to anybody who does that, you know? Uh, there's quite a few awesome guys who uh, make really cool videos. But yeah, I'm just going ahead and uh, firmly scratching this. You know, I, I might be doing a little damage, but it's not a big deal because this is a uh, fake anyways. At least that's what I think. It would be quite a surprise if, uh, turns out that this ends up being uh, real gold. So, um, you know, this is just an approximate test of, of what it is. Um, and you can actually, there's actually some things right here where you can see uh, if you use the uh, 10K solution, you can see what is the base metal in there, which is pretty cool. You know, you, you just drop it right on the uh, metal. You see what color it turns out, and then you can figure out, you know, is it lead, is it tin, is it nickel? Is it copper? Is it brass? You know, dark brown for the brass, copper's brown. Anyways, we'll find out soon what this is. I'm probably overdoing this, but I want to just do this in one shot. Time is money. I don't want to um, have to do this again. I would like to just shoot it one time, right? So there we go. That's the, since it says 14K, we're going to go ahead and use the 14K solution. Um, never used this kit before so it's the first time for you guys first time for me we'll see how this and by the way th this has like uh, i think it has muriatic acid in it so um make sure you you should probably use gloves when you do this but i'm just gonna make sure i don't touch it but i'm just gonna drip a little bit of this uh this um acid on it if this dissolves so i'm just gonna pull this little graphic up right here so you drop the 14K acid on the on the spot. Um, if it partially dissolved, then test is complete. It's 10 to 14K gold. If it's not dissolved, then 14 it's 14K or greater. So you continue to the next step. I see. So that's why if it's 22K gold or greater, if you use a 22. So that's why I was wondering why there's no 24K solution. It's because it's gonna be 22K or greater if the solution works. So, um, so this should, um, really it should, uh, um, hopefully it'll just partially dissolve, I believe. So, um, 
Let's go ahead and just try this. Let me try to zoom in a little, boys and girls. Ta-da! One drop. This to me is fully dissolved. So fully dissolved means it is not gold. Hmm. So let's test another part with this. Uh, this uh, the ten ten k uh, ten k uh. uh solution. And this this has acid. So remember, guys, use gloves. Definitely use gloves. Don't be a dummy. So if this if this fully dissolves right now, then that means hey, it's not gold. So they're right there. Uh, So if this is partially dissolved, then it's one to ten K gold. And it actually to me. Nope, that looks like it's completely dissolving. So yeah, there, there we go. So part of me this entire time was just like hoping, oh, please let this thing just be real. Please let it be real. Then I would sell it and then get some uh, cool coins like, uh, like this here bad boy. And okay, so my next test is I'm going to test it on this. I'm just kidding, guys. I love gold and gold uh, government bullion especially. Um, so I would not want to hurt this beautiful little specimen, this Canadian uh, one ten ounce pure pour. I guess that's French. Nine 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 fine gold. Nope, I would not want to do that. Let's let this dissolve away. And you can see that because it's dissolved away, it is pure fake gold. So it it's, does not have gold content in it, just like I thought. Um, even though there was some little part of me just hoping and wishing that there was some gold in there, there's not. So anyways, guys, Metal Bum out. Stay safe, and if you find anyone who uh, does counterfeit these things, call the motherfucker out. Like, rate, and subscribe, mofo.